Hey Pirates, uh, every now and again somebody asks about resonance capacitor, resonance battery, can I use it on this ship, can I use it on that ship, would it work here, would it work there? Um, so this video is about explaining how they work, when they work and what you should check before you use it on a ship. Um, so there are two resonance specials and there's a lot of misinformation about them. What you need to know is both of them will only give the bonuses listed if they are activated by an aura or a field. Okay, so I'm going to use aura and field interchangeably here. Okay, uh, so the resonance battery is older, uh, was primarily created for PVE hulls because it gives you defenses like percentage defenses. Uh, gives you combat speed and gives you extra damage. It's very lightweight, but does not work on defenders or conquerors. I mean, it, it won't give them any defense, just the damage bones and speed. Uh, the resonance capacitor will give extra damage. Turret defense, so you can use that in place of siege battery or garrison battery if you want. It will give combat speed, which is very good for conquerors. And both of them have a stacking tactical bonus, and that means if you have a second aura or a th and a third and a fourth aura uh, all stacked, the bonuses go up. So, for example, um, bonus combat speed is 20% when you have one aura activating it. If you have a second aura on the resonance battery, you gain extra 50%, so now your bonus combat speed is not 20%, but 30. So it's 20 plus 50% of it, it's 30%. If you have a third aura, it's another half of the original bonus, so now it's 20 plus 10 plus 10, 40%. Okay? So in terms of uh, adding up bonuses, the resonance battery starts lower on damage, but the more auras you have, the more you get. And the resonance capacitor is just more widely used because of its turret resistance, which if you notice doesn't have a plus. So that one, you just get the flat number. It doesn't stack with more auras, so it's a flat 50, okay? So these are the specials, uh, when to use them. I put this workflow together to help guide you through your decision. So when you think about using a resonance capacitor or battery, Ask yourself first, is that ship always going to be covered by an aura? Because if not, that means sometimes you get the bonuses and if the aura goes away, you won't get the bonuses anymore and you're exposed. Um, if you are, then the next question is that aura covering your ship all the time, is it always on? If not, again, you won't always have the bonuses. It may leave you exposed, so don't, don't use it. If it is always on, it has to be on your own ship, so you control it, right? You can make sure it's always covering your fleet or all your ships, or at least the one that has the capacitor. Um, so if it's on your ship, it has to be friendly. That's the next question. If it's on your ship, it's friendly. That means it's affecting all your ships in range. If it's hostile, that means it only affects your enemy, so it's useless for you. It won't trigger your special because it's hostile only affecting the enemy. If the enemy has the special, it's gonna trigger their special. That doesn't help you. Next question. Does it say resonance trigger true? Yes, okay? If resonance triggers yes, good, it's gonna activate the special. Some auras do not trigger resonance, so if you don't see that statistic there, you're never going to see it saying no. Either it's there saying yes, or it's not there. If it's not there, don't use it. If it says yes, next question is, is it code snap immune? Code snap is an effect that disables auras. So if it's going to be, you're going to be attacking a base or a forsaken mission target, and it's going to be constantly disabling that aura, you will be exposed, so then don't use it. So if, if it's not code snap immune, and yes, there are code snaps in the target, don't do it. If it's either code snap immune 
then you can do it. But if it's not, but the target has no cold snap, such as the titanium targets, I don't think they have any, then you can do it. Okay, so that's the flow. And now we're gonna take a look at some examples. First one, the gluttony. Gluttony is a good example if you look at the aura down here. Okay, uh, you can have up to five, which means you get those stacking bonuses. So you don't get just, let's say, 20% combat speed. With five auras, you're gonna get a lot more than that. Okay, it's friendly. It does not have any sort of trigger or duration that tells me it's always on. Uh, down here, resonance trigger, yes. Code snap immune, yes. So that's an absolutely unqualified yes, you can use it. Okay. Uh, the Fury, a guy on the TFC page asked that question the other day. Uh, so the Fury is a funny one because it has an aura. Uh, it is friendly. It says down here, resonance trigger, yes. It has code snap immune, yes. The problem is it's not always on because the aura here only triggers on overload, so it has a trigger, and it only lasts for eight seconds, okay? And I'm even confused if it's friendly or, or hostile, hostile, to be honest, because it doesn't say. So the friend is a maybe, it's not always on because it has trigger and duration. Uh, so it only matches two of the questions, do not use it. Go with Siege Battery instead, or any other sort of uh, buff, uh, buff, or, uh, specials to buff your, your damage. But don't use Resonance Battery or Resonance Capacitor. Third one, the new Tier 7 Conquerors, if you put a tactical module like the Engine Disruptor, um, it's always on, but it's hostile, so it's not going to affect your ships, it's going to affect your enemy's ships, so it disqualifies right here. On top of that, it's not cold snap immune, so forget it. That's not good to combine with the resonance capacitor. Example 4, wake module. The wake module is a funny one because it's always on, it's friendly and it triggers resonance. So you could say, okay, I'm going to use it. Pro, uh, two problems. First, it's not cold snap immune. So if you're going to use it hitting a base and that base has cold snap or an FM target that has cold snap, uh, it's going to disable that aura. And during the time it's disabled, five seconds, three seconds, eight seconds, you have no turret defense. So you're going to take a lot of damage. The other problem is the wake module, the fuel, the blue fuel sits behind the ship, not on top of it. So it will affect other ships in your fleet that are following the ship equipped with it, but it doesn't self-trigger because the ship itself is not sitting inside the field ever. So that ship will never benefit from it. Um, so that overall, I mean, you can apply that rule, those questions to any ships. Uh, I just put a quick list of defenders. Uh, there are a few defenders that actually benefit from resonance trigger and you could use the capacitor in them or even the battery because they don't need turret defense. They're defenders. They're defending against ships. Uh, so justice, courage, harlock, alpha behemoth, hope, Omni Behemoth are all no-goes. Don't put resonance specials in them. Alpha Behemoth, Valiant and Vanquisher, yes, they can trigger uh, resonance. Some of them are not called Snap Immune, but again, doesn't matter because attacking ships will not have anything to disable auras. Okay, other than a pinch rocket. Now, the cool thing is, let's say you put an Alpha Behemoth sitting in the back with countermeasures. And you can put one of the other ships, the ones with red, inside its aura, so it triggers itself and triggers any other ships nearby affected by that aura. So you can do some pretty interesting defensive configurations in your base um, if you want to buff damage by like 35%. Okay? I hope that helps. Uh, keep that workflow handy so you know when to use, when not to use uh, resonance capacitor and resonance battery.
Have a good time, Pirates.